Hi, I'm Brandon Grant, Marketing Director here at Quiltworks. In this video, we're going to show you how you can create, edit, and manage your individual users in Quiltworks. There's a few things to know about creating and editing users in Quiltworks before we get started, however. First, each user created will have their own login and security settings for Quiltworks. If you're using Quiltworks Web or Quilt Valet, each user will use the same login set here for those add-ons as well. Second, you can create as many users as you need. Usernames are not based on how many licenses you own. You simply need to create an individual user login for every user in your office that needs access to Quiltworks. Additionally, utilizing groups will help you manage your users, especially when you need to make mass changes. And finally, document approval settings are available in Quiltworks as well. This helps require new or existing users to require management approval before delivering quotes. All right, so let's get started. So to create, edit, or delete existing users, you'll first need to log into Quiltworks as an administrator or someone with master rights. Once you've done that, click on Utilities, and then scroll all the way to the bottom and select the User Maintenance menu option. The user maintenance window will display and it'll show you a list of the, all the users that you've set up currently inside of Quiltworks. You'll also see there's a checkbox for show inactive users. If you've marked any user inactive and you check this box, they will now be available in that user interface. Each user has the option to be cloned, which will create a copy of them. You can create a new blank user. You can edit the user. You can also edit the user's preferences, or you can delete the user. We only recommend deleting users if you're absolutely sure you want to remove them from your system. There's also a few other things to keep in mind before deleting, so please contact tech support before deleting any users. Marking users as inactive is actually the preferred method of removing users from your system. If we wanted to create a brand new user inside of Quiltworks, simply click on the new icon. This will open up the create new user window and you'll see you'll be prompted to enter in their Quiltworks login information. Here you'll set their username and password and then confirm the password. The username is going to be very important as this is the username that they will use to log into Quiltworks as well as Quiltworks Web and Quilt Valet. Quiltworks username cannot be changed once you hit OK, so make sure that you spell the name correctly and decide if you're going to use full names, abbreviations, or however else you want to decide what their usernames are going to be and just make sure you set that here. So for our example, we'll call ours Joe Sales set a password, confirm the password, and then you have the option if the user is going to have master rights. Master rights should only be assigned to users that are going to be Quiltworks administrators. This means they have access to everything inside of Quiltworks, including other users' documents, the ability to delete pretty much anything, and the ability to view anything in Quiltworks. User cannot change password. If you want to give them the option of not being able to select or change their password, we can turn that off. And then user is not active. This is the one you want to select if you need to remove a user from your system. The Windows Authentication Login. This will allow your user to log in using their domain information, uh, such as when they log into Windows. You can set that information here. The Group Membership tab allows you to assign this new user to a specific group. Simply click on the checkbox next to the group name and this user will now be part of that group. Groups are a great way to update a user specific settings without having to update every single individual user in that group. Instead, you can update or edit a single user settings and then copy those settings to anyone else that is in that particular group. Although it is possible to assign a user to multiple groups, it is not recommended as you may have group settings copying over and saving over existing group settings. So we do recommend just assigning every user that is going to be in a group to a single group only. Groups are not required, you don't have to use them, but if you are going to use them, only assign each user to a single group in Quoteworks. The menus are where you can choose which menus are available for the user to view and use. 
you can simply uncheck any of the options that are available and it'll remove that from the menu options in QuoteWorks. The access tab is going to be specific security settings. If you want to apply a specific setting to this specific user, this is where that is set. The spotlight search will allow you to search for a specific security feature. For instance, if I type in the word delete, any of the security options that have the word delete in it will be highlighted in bold and then I can have those selected. Please keep in mind if a user has master rights, master rights will trump any security settings set here. The documents tab is where you can assign which users can view this specific user's documents. So for our Joe sales example, anyone added here can view Joe's documents. They can modify Joe's documents, delete, or prepare. So if we want our inside sales team to be able to view Joe's documents, we would simply select the group inside sales. If we want to give the other executives the ability to modify Joe's documents, we can select that there. And we don't want to give anyone the access to delete, or if we want to give someone to prepare, we can do that as well. You also have the option of setting up the document approval settings. You can see more information in the QuoteWorks help file about these approval options. The sales tab is where you can set the commission based on the sales price or the profit. And then also if you want to set a monthly sales quota for this particular user. The last tab is the apply to tab. This is where you can select which settings you'd like to copy to another user or group. This is where it's very advantageous to have your users assigned to groups where you can edit one of the users in the group and then choose to copy those settings from a specific tab to another group. So if I wanted to select the menus tab and assign that to everyone in the executives group, I could click OK and I'll get a confirmation that it's been copied over. Once you've made your changes, simply click OK to save those and you'll see your user now exists in your user list. Now if you'd like to make a change to an existing user, simply highlight the user and then click Edit and you'll see you'll be brought into the edit user property window and you can click on any of the tabs that you'd like and make any adjustments so if you want to add security settings hide menu options change their document settings sales information anything like that you can make those changes and then click ok when creating a new user it may be better to actually clone an existing user if you have a lot of sales reps in your organization and you need to create a new one for someone you've recently brought on, by cloning a user, QuoteWorks will actually copy that user's settings for all the various tabs. This way you're not starting from scratch when creating this new user. So in this one, if I create new user but I've cloned it, it'll already have a lot of those settings set for me and I can begin the process of filling out the information and maybe setting some specific security settings for this user, but at least I have a basis almost like using a user template to create your new users in QuoteWorks. From this window, each user's preferences can also be modified. So for example, if you highlight one of the users and select preferences, you can actually fill out the user's tools my preferences menu without having to log in QuoteWorks as them so you can fill out their full name title personal information set up their email information and any of the other settings that you'd like to specify for them from the user maintenance window you also have the ability to add and edit the groups if you click on the groups tab you'll see you'll be able to create a new group rename an existing group or delete any existing groups the Profiles tab is where you can set up the approval setting profiles. There's more information in the help file about setting up these profile settings. For more information on using and creating new users inside of QuoteWorks, please visit the QuoteWorks help file or contact our sales team. Thanks for watching.